Hello and welcome back to another video. So this time I'm going to be covering something that I think has actually been a little bit glossed over when it comes to gold making, and that is the level three inn slash tavern. It's the tavern of your the horde. Now, if you don't know what this building does, well, it's pretty simple. With level one and two, it gives you access to a whole bunch of quests and also the ability to recruit a specific follower. However, I think what a lot of people have forgotten is that level three, it gives you access to a new kind of garrison mission. And uh, they are, I should probably pick this up, and they are called Treasure Hunter Missions. Now, Treasure Hunter Missions are maybe a little bit more exciting than they actually are. It's just another kind of mission that pops up at your table, and the only difference is that it gives you gold. Now, of course, there are already gold-giving missions in um, just, you know, in the regular pool of uh, missions. However, the Treasure Hunter ones do give you a bit more gold, and in some cases, there are some that actually give a lot of gold. I forget the exact amount, but I'll put a list of all of the missions on the screen so you can have a look at them. Now I've got two treasure hunter missions here. You can see if it's a treasure hunter mission based on the little, it's a, this very top mission here. There's like a weird scroll thingy beside um, its, its level. Now this one takes six hours and it gives 100 gold. That's fine, I will just use my add-ons to put my followers on because I've got a epic mount follower. It will only take three hours, which is pretty nice. And that'll get me 100 gold, very simple. Here's another mission. It'll give me 85 gold. Again, put my followers on it. Um, yeah, and away they go. So there is 100 and something gold. However, there's also a bunch of regular missions that you get, and a lot of those treasure missions give 150 gold. So I find that I usually get about four or five treasure missions a day, and that, let's just say, equates to about three, 250 to 400 gold on a character per day of very easy missioning, um, just from the treasure missions. Now, if you add on top of that the regular missions that also give gold, you actually end up with quite a lot of money. So I'll head on to my warrior, because I know he's got a few treasure missions lined up, and we'll see what's going on there. Now, I know this isn't a crazy amount of gold, it's not going to blow your mind, but I've just found that I've been making... I've, I've been looking at the gold of my characters, and I've just been noticing, huh, that's a lot higher than I remember. I've got a 160k between all my characters now, which is pretty nice. So there's a treasure mission that gives 150 gold. Um, so I'll just send my followers and that, only takes three hours, lovely, again, nice, easy money. Here's a regular mission that gives 60 gold, so we'll do that. Here's one that gives 70 gold, there's a treasure mission, so we'll do that. And as you can see, it's just, oh well, okay, here's a, a rare mission, um, just a regular one actually, but 200 gold, that's very nice. And that's a little bit, that's, you know, it's a rare mission, not that common, but whatever, 200 gold. And uh, in the last few minutes, I've made quite, oh! I'm all raid mission appeared. Sweet. Anyway, in the last few minutes, I've made quite a lot of gold, and I've done essentially no real work. And um, now the reason why this is also easy and streamlined for me is because I've got my add-ons working. You know, so it's very easy for me to send off um, all my followers and manage it across multiple characters. If you want to um, see how I do that, then do have a look at the. I think it was a few days ago I released the video on that, so be sure to check that out. Now, let's just say this makes like 400 gold, uh, maybe 500 per character. Anywhere, 300 to 500 per character per day. Well, if you're doing this on, say, three characters, that's, let's just say, a thousand gold to maybe 1,200, maybe 1,500 if you get super lucky with missions a day. That might not seem crazy, but over a month, that's 30k in and around. And I just think that money actually does add up quite a bit to the point where you will be pretty darn wealthy if you just have a lot of, um, a lot of characters. And remember, this is passive gold, right? There's no farming needed here, there's no there's no work really, it's just free money that's yours to pick up. Unfortunately, I don't have enough garrison resources in this character to do any missions because I, um, I'm actually in the process of building my level 3 in on this guy. Now, I do plan on having, I'd say, uh, 8 level 100s by the end of the Christmas holidays, and 8 level 100s at uh, 500 gold a day, that's, that's, well, let's just say 400 gold a day, equates to um, a good amount of gold. Um, take that over a month, and it's pretty much, uh, you're, you're rich with no real work. And I like the idea of that. Now, on top of that, there's another thing just to briefly mention. If I hop back onto my main character, because I think there is a few, um, a few salvage crates on that. But the level 3 salvage yard is great for getting gold. In fact, I made about 30k. Um, I have made about 30k from it so far. There was a BOE that dropped from it which um, I sold for good money, and it's also been dropping loads of transmog items. So I found that that, on top of um, my treasure missions, has really helped me out in terms of my gold making. Another thing is that the trash that you get from these big crates of salvage actually sells, 
um, pretty decently in terms of the raw money that you get. Um, though the main point of this video is just to, um, to mention that those treasure missions exist and that they're really good. I'm surprised at how much money I'm getting from them and it's, it's just covering all my expenses and making me a pretty decent amount of money. Alright, so nothing too special here. Let's see, this Fist of Fate, however, is... It's got a realm market value of about 500 to 1,000... No, 350 gold, okay, so I can maybe sell that for Transmog. Uh, that's not really worth too much. This isn't worth too much. Um, none of these really are worth a, a crazy amount of money. But when I sell the trash, there's 11 gold. When I sell all these, they all sell for money as well. So that's just some passive gold making from your garrison. Though mainly th those treasure missions. Just, um, does it say the rewards in this thingy? Hmm. Oh wait, there's another mission that popped up. Heart of the Iron Horde. Again, it's not a treasure mission, but whatever. I think that just with the regular garrison missions that do get gold, or do reward gold, you get a decent amount, but when you add the treasure missions on top of that, it just gets to the stage where it really is a decently significant amount of gold every day. Like, I've done no work there, and I've got, uh, you know, good money in this character, right? Just over 200 gold. Fine. Is that a crazy amount? No. But again, it took me two minutes. There are very few methods which just give you 200 raw gold in a few minutes with um, zero wrangling around. Right? Because, and even in some of the guides that I will be launching later on this week about getting gold, they do actually involve work. They involve going a place in the world, doing something, farming something, um, crafting things. And uh, a lot of people just don't want to do that work. So, if you are like that and you just want passive gold that's really easy, this is the way to do it. I mean, look at that. That's, that's, a lot, that's great. And now, if you don't know how to get the level 3 Lunar Fall in, you just need to complete a whole bunch of the missions that you get from the inn. I'll go to the achievement here. Right, so each one of these is the name of one of the quests that you get at the inn. And if you complete 50% of these, you will um, get the blueprint. That's a recent hotfix. It used to be that you had to complete every single thing that's listed on this achievement. Um, and the UI still says that, but in actuality, you just need to complete half and then you'll be able to pick up the blueprint. Anyway, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope you find that useful. And uh, yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say. So if you want to uh, stay tuned to more, uh, for more gold guides, do that because I will have a few more coming out over the next while. You know, it's, it's the Christmas period, right? Need to celebrate it with some gold making guides and rampant consumerism. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video and I will see you next time.